Hey everyone, this is Christian from CodeFresh. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to automate config map rollouts using Argo CD. Config map is a way to store configuration data for your application on Kubernetes. It differs from secrets, whereas secrets are concerned with key value pairs, config maps are actually actual whole configurations of, for your application. So for example, the application.properties file in your Spring Boot application. Um, you can store other things like JSON, YAML, TOML, anything that your application may need um, in order for it to function. One of the drawbacks for using config maps is that a config map update, let's say you need to make an update in your configuration in order to change the behavior of your application, doesn't trigger a rollout of that application, meaning that your pods in the deployment or stateful set um, stays at that original version or an older version of a config map, right? Which may not be the desired um, outcome that you want. So um, there's a way around this and there's a way to automate this with Argo CD where when you make a change in your config map, it'll automatically make that update for you. So um, here are some tips and tricks to get that working. So first here, we'll show that uh, I have an application managed by Argo CD. And in this application, I have a config map. Uh, as you see here, this config map um, has things like title, you know, enable awesome, right? We want to enable awesome. That's always set to true for our applications. And uh, I have another property called version, right? And so this is stored as a test.conf file on the, um, on the pods that this application runs on. And so my application here, um, my application simply just reads that configuration file, displays it on here for uh, demo purposes. As you can see here, we see that we have enabled awesome. Awesome, that's cool. We have version one. Um, so let's you know, pretend we're gonna make a change, right? Let's say we wanna make a change from version V1 to version V2. So uh, how would we do that? Well, since this is Argo CD and since this is GitOps, uh, we do it by making an update to the YAML file in Git. So let's say um, my local copy of the repo here, I have a config map. Um, as you see here, it says version one. We'll change this to version two, right? Um, we'll add this to Git. And then we'll say uh, version two update, right? Something that we'll see. And then, uh, then we'll push this up to the Git repo. So. All right, so now that it's up there, let's uh, force a sync here for Argo CD. Usually Argo CD runs every three minutes, um, but since for this demo, um, we're gonna hard refresh it right now. As you can see the config, my config changed. Um, and when we sync here, well, wait a minute. We sync this, but it still says version one. Let's take a look at that here. Uh, first, uh, let's, ex let's exec to the pod, right? So we're gonna look into the pod. Um, you know, I just did a kubectl exec and I cat the file, the configuration file. And the configuration file does say the old version. Hmm, did Argo even update the config map? Let's take a look. Argo did update the config map. See, the, um, the issue here, if, he's, if I do a um, um, get replica sets, I only have one replica set, meaning that um, there wasn't another version of this application rolled out when I created, when I updated my config map. So how do we get around this? Well, you get around this with Kubernetes uh, native tools, such as um, if we take a look here, uh, such as customization, right? So customize has the ability to have common annotations, right? So the common annotations and customization just means that every resource in your application gets the same annotation. Why is that helpful? Well, changing the annotation will trigger a rollout for your deployment. So now, how does that work, right? So, um, so here, what you would do is let's CD into that directory. Let's clear the screen so you can see clearly here. Um, and let's do, um, oops. Uh, let's change the annotation, right? So let's say I wanna go from, you know, to version two, right? So, um, so how would that workflow look like? So first let's change the, uh, so we'll change this to version three, let's say, and then we'll set the annotation to version three. 
Now, if you look at your customization file, you'll see that the common annotation will say, um, you know, whatever key value for your annotation is. Now we're at V3. So uh, we'll commit this directly to main, but the idea is here is I'll make a pull request and the version of my config map will match the annotation. So let's do, um, uh, but for this demo, let's get add. And let's say uh, updated to V3. All right, so let's push that. All right, looking great. Let's go back to Argo CD. And again, let's force a refresh, but I want you to notice something. Notice how a new deployment was automatically triggered. And so when I uh, refresh this page here, you'll see that it's V3 right away. Um, I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to roll that out. And that's because of the new annotation that is on the deployment um, exists now on the deployment, which then will cause that to roll out. So to see this here, uh, let's get the replica sets. And you see now there's two replica sets because the common annotation changes the deployment and therefore triggers a rollout. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find it very helpful. And um, if you think about anything else or anything else you want to see, you can catch me on uh, Christian H814 on Twitter or in the CNCF Slack. Thank you.